At 215, we got Jacksonville State, who's 8-4. And, and luckily, got into a bowl game. Let's go Gamecocks. Taking on UL Lafayette, who's 6-6. Six six. Jacksonville State favored by 2.5 on ESPN. And in their first season up from uh, FCS level, they go 8-4 in reg the regular season. Huge win for Jacksonville State. It looked like they weren't going to be going bowling this year, despite going 8-4. and four. Um, But luckily, there weren't enough bowl-eligible football teams, so Jacksonville State and James Madison both get, got to get in, which is huge for them. They both deserved to be bowl bowling this year. Zion Webb for the Gamecocks got, has went 97-194, thrown for 1,281 yards, five touchdowns, six interceptions. Blake Jackson's had 133 carries for 860 yards and seven touchdowns, and Perry Carter said 34 catches for 618 yards and three touchdowns. Zeon Chris for the Raging Cajuns has gone 102-153, thrown for 1,222 yards, 11 touchdowns, five interceptions. Jacob Kibbo, J Jacob Kibbity has had 129 carries for 729 yards and seven touchdowns, and Jacob Bernard has had 37 catches for 473 yards and a touchdown. Um, this game's really interesting. In my opinion, UL Lafayette didn't start up the season great, right? Uh, they they were okay at the beginning of the year, but it, the middle of the season hit, and it went kind of rough for the Raging Cajuns. They were able to turn their season around, and they ended up winning a big one in their last game against, I believe, UL Monroe, in-state rival, to get to bowl eligibility. Huge win for the Raging Cajuns, but they draw a really hard Gamecocks team, a Gamecocks team that is playing really well. Um, Jacksonville State all, should have beat South Carolina this year. Like, they legitimately should, could have beaten South Carolina. That was a back-and-forth game that they could have won, and they ended up blowing at the very end. But, like, this is a really good Gamecocks team. Um, I don't quite think UL Lafayette's on that level. There's a reason why I think Jacksonville State's favored by a little bit more than two and a half, but by two, than two, favored by two and a half points. Um, Jacksonville State's a pretty good basketball football team. Um, I really like what they're doing as a program. Again, coming up from the FCS level, having such success for the first season. I like to point out, like, Sam Houston State is normal. Like, Sam Houston State has struggled this year, and that is normal. What's Jacksonville State and what James Madison have done coming from the FCS to FBS is not normal. This is very, very impressive. Um, what they've done so far, and I think they should get a lot of credit for it. So I think Jacksonville State is going to win this game. I think they are a better football team. Uh, I think this could be a little bit of a slug match. A lot of Jacksonville State games, they win on their defense. Their defense is pretty good. They win on the ground. Jacksonville State isn't at all. It's not going to put up a whole bunch of points. It's going to be kind of grinded out kind of team. I like Jacksonville State to win this one. I think it's going to be low scoring, though. I do like Jacksonville State to cover.